The Milwaukee Admirals are 3-0-0-1 after a Saturday night shootout loss against the Rockford Ice Hogs. In that game, the Admirals scored but two goals once again. They lost 3-2. Mark Visentine was recalled from ECHL Cincinnati and was brilliant with 34 saves for Milwaukee. The Admirals had to make a lot of roster moves on that day. The night before in Detroit, the Admirals parent club Nashville lost eight players to food poisoning. The Admirals had to recall several players from ECHL Cincinnati. Now, three players did come back from the those eight that went to Nashville to play in the game against Rockford. Congratulations, first NHL win. That had to be pretty special. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, it was a special night for me, of course. How do you prepare for something like that? Because the night before, you figure you're going to play against Rockford, right? Yeah, everything happened really fast, but you just got to get your mind together and just play your own game. When did you get the call? Uh, they call, called me like after uh, Nashville's game on Detroit that there was some bug going on, but then they confirmed that I'm gonna play on the Saturday morning. Okay. So did you know? Did you were you watching the the Nashville Detroit game and you kind of figured something was up? Yeah, I actually was watching it and I was like wondering why the guys were leaving the bench, but at that moment I didn't know like the goalies had the bug too, so. Yeah, I didn't have no clue. So you go up, and I mean, is it nothing but scouting reports? Do you sit down with people to figure out? Because you're playing against a team that you haven't played against yet. Yeah, they got a couple of clips, like how they used to score goals or that kind of stuff. But kind of you can't think about it too much, and you just got to let the game go, go on. You, when the game goes on, less than a minute into the game, here they come after you. <laughs> and they score right away. What are you thinking at that point? Yeah, of course, that was a nice start, but uh, I've been in those situations before, so I knew that I just had to start the game all over again. It's it, it's so special, and then you, you added to it by saying Marc-Andre Fleury is one of your favorite goaltenders that you grew up watching and emulating a little bit. I mean, do you say anything to him at the end of the game or when you guys are getting dressed afterwards? <laughs> no, no, I didn't see him, but yeah, it was a funny, funny thing because I used to spend a lot of time watching his highlights on YouTube, so it was kind of a funny moment when I saw him at the other end. So you go out and all you do is stop 34 shots in that game. That The guys around you had to feel good, but you had to feel real good that you got number one of what we all assume is going to be very many. Yeah, of course. It was a great thing to have the first win and the guys played great in front of me, so it was a lot of fun. Yeah, congratulations. Yeah, thank you. All right, that's goalie Yusa Saros. The Admirals and Wild face off at 7 o'clock tonight in Des Moines. Pre-game coverage starts at 6.30 on Sports Radio 105.7 FM, The Fan. Don't forget, tomorrow night, the first game at UW-Milwaukee Panther Arena, the Admirals' home opener. They'll take on the Iowa Wild. Every Saturday game faces off at 6. For more information about the game or anything regarding the Admirals, go to milwaukeeadmirals.com.